I think that's just like like a real corny thing to do to pay to take a to keep your zero. What? You thinking what I'm thinking? I know he not talking about Devin Haney. But he was. That's none other than Regis Progray. And he just gave an interview saying that Devin paid to keep his zero. So he lost? What? When? Where? Listen to the interview. That, uh, you know, he paid someone off. When did you find out about this? Where are you getting this from? I just heard about it. That's all. I heard about it this week. And um, then another source told me it's actually true. You know, so, um, you know, first it was like a rumor. Then, you know, a credible source told me it's actually a, a true thing. So that's what I heard. You know, I wasn't there, so I can't really confirm it. But at the same time, some credible people told me and they can get me the location, the date and all that stuff, too. So, yeah. So what do you make of all that? I mean, shit, if it is, it, that's is um if that happened, bro, it just shows, you know, like, it just show like that's just just corny you know what i'm saying if that if that's really really true you know like it's it's just so like that shit is that's just super corny to like pay for you know it worked for him i guess but it's just i think that's just like like a real corny thing to do to pay to take a to keep your zero nah what's corny is you listen to roly romero when he was on fight hype and he said that in 2021 if you don't believe me, check it out. I got the receipts. So y'all can't say I give, shit. I give them the respect. But, but they're making the most I money give right now. I give them the respect. I give them the oh, respect. Oh, oh, and then wait, we're talking about belts? Fucking Devin Haney literally fucking emailed fucking somebody and got a fucking but belt. Oh, and, oh, and, and gave a little bit of money. Been winning, though. Ever since? Hey, Dude, he lost in fucking email. Mexico. Did you know that? I knew, I know that. Did, did you know Devin Haney lost in Mexico? Only matters that. No, 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 no. Did you know that he lost to Mexico and they had to overturn the decision? I know that. I know that. Okay, don't, don't talk to me about no damn belts. This was recorded in 2021, so when it comes to Regis, I just, I don't know, man. I can't respect it. At the end of the day, you call Roly credible? Roly? The same Roly that told us to bet the house on him? Talked all kind of craziness? Don't have a mind. Just speaks. Don't know what he's speaking about. Get up out of here, man. Roly just been a hater and will always be a hater. And that's when he was talking about turning down Cambosis to fight for Undisputed, even though, you know, those guys not going to cover that. This is the fight that everybody is talking about. And it's Devin Haney versus Hector Garcia. And though it was one of his tougher fights in the beginning of his career, he didn't lose this fight. He won by a unanimous decision, and it's on Box Rec if you want to check it out. If you listen to the girl in the background, <laughs> you will understand that Hector couldn't have been doing too good. That lady was hollering at her, her little Hispanic language. But all the talk prompted the commissioner of Tijuana to come out with a statement. I had a receipt on that too, but let me let you check out the fight a little bit. Commissioner in Tijuana, Juan Paleo, came out with a statement. Devin Haney never lost a single fight in Tijuana. That's a lie. I was personally there at least in nine of those fights, and he never lost. There was an opponent who made a good fight, but he didn't lose. One or two fighters did reasonably well against him, but he was superior. So, there we go. Wrong, wrong 
wrong. It's one thing to promote a fight and get the fans all riled up. It's another thing to just go out there and say some nonsense like that on live TV for all the fans to see, especially when you getting it from Riley Romero. On one hand, I want Devin Haney to lose to Regis so we can all see him fight Shakur. And I'm sure we all want to see him fight Shakur. But on the other hand, and listening to all of this bullshit, I hope he go out there and knock Regis the fuck out. You hear me? I hope he go out there and prove to Regis exactly who he, who he is. The one thing I don't like about the Regis side is they so bent and pressed on where they come from and where Devin come from. But I hope Devin put on a show and show these guys that it don't matter where you come from, where you live, what you've been through. If you love the sport, you love the sport. And it's as simple as that. One day, I hope to see Devin fight with the best. Shakur, Tank, and all of the rest of them. Maybe Tank will fight him. Maybe he won't. He don't fight black fighters.